Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to another episode on interview questions. So thanks Arun for asking this question. So he asked a question that it's very simple question. So how can we make the requirements gathering? So in the question I have answered just about requirements gathering but I have not given any justification for where we are going to make the requirements gathering. So in this video, we will discuss about where and what are all the steps that we're going to use for the requirements gathering. And thanks, thanks again for asking this question. So in case if any of you have any other questions, please feel free to comment in the comment section. So now let's dive into the question and answer. So the question goes like this way. So you have got a new application in your hands and you want to make sure it performs like a champ. So where do you start with your requirements gathering? So the first part is the stakeholder collaboration. So my journey begins by collaborating closely with the key stakeholders, especially it starts with the developers, the product managers, the system architects, and they all have unique insights. So we have to discuss with all the stakeholders. And for an example, I can say, interviewer that in a, in a recent project I have held workshops with them to understand their performance expectations so this is the very first way or this is the first approach that is approaching the stakeholder that is stakeholder collaboration and moving on, moving on to the second one is the business objectives or understanding the business goals so the second approach is understanding the business goals and it's crucial to align the performance requirements with the organization's business goals so in a financial application project we needed to ensure sub-second response times to support real-time trading so it's always very important to understand the business goals and the third one is defining the business scenarios to, to simulate real world usage we have to define user scenarios and how many users are expected and what actions will they perform. So for example, in an e-commerce app, in an e-commerce application, we decided scenarios for searching, adding to the cart and checking out. And the fourth one is the non-functional requirements. So we have to pay attention to non-functional requirements such as the response times, the throughput and resource utilization. So in a healthcare application, for example, we have to ensure the fast data retrieval for patient records and efficient usage of server resources. And then the next approach to collect the requirements is the load profile. So we have to determine the load profile. So will there be peak usage periods? Say for example, for a gaming app, we had to anticipate heavy usage during evening hours and weekends and for for a retail e-retail e e -retail application, we have to check for any recent Christmas or Black Friday kind of event. So this is all determined through the load profile. And then next comes the testing environment. So we have to define our test environment and this should be part of our collection of the non-functional requirements. So we have to define our test environments. So will I test in a production like environment or a scaled down version? This has to be the next requirement that we have to collect from the development team or from the business analyst or from the, some of the other stakeholders, especially from the business end. And this is critical for accurate testing. In a recent cloud-based project, for an example, I have used AWS to replicate the production environment. So this is so simple. So we have to clearly define what are all, what are all the the metrics that we need to collect and from whom are we going to collect. So the first thing is the stakeholder interview. So we have to collaborate with the stakeholders, especially with the developers, the business analyst and the system architects. And next is understanding the business goals. So for, for whom and for what are we going to test the business or we're going to test the application. And then we have to define the business scenarios, the user scenarios after collaborating with the developers and other stakeholders and we have to get them signed off. And next thing is the non-functional requirements, which is basically the metrics, which is the response times, the throughput and the resource utilization. And also we have to set up the SLA for all of these non-functional requirements. And next comes the load profile. What will be the peak usage periods? So based on that, we have to decide our load profile. And finally, the testing environment. So all these factors has to be collected as part of the requirements gathering 
So I believe this answer will be very useful to you. In case if you have any follow-up questions, please do comment in the comment section. Until I meet you in another interesting video, it's bye-bye from Basan Shamugam and Little Slaw.